17 things you need to know about Citibank before you apply for any credit product with them. Let's dive into it. All right, my friends, here we go. Another top list, let's do uh, Citibank. Okay, we got a lot of data here and uh, some recent stuff, so I think you're gonna like this. First things first is they do offer a pre-qualification. You're seeing that on the screen right now and you can select kind of like what you want to go with. Discover does the same thing, and a few others I think do as well. Like, do you want to go after rewards, balance transfer, low APR, no preference, et cetera, et cetera. You're authorizing them, you're giving just basic account info and the last four of your social security. And based off that, they're giving you um, pre-qualification and letting you know uh, if you are essentially pre-approved or not, right? And the, the likelihood of Citibank offers is pretty high, when you combine that with the matching engines like Credit Karma and what you get under the My Recommendations on Experian, you can start to get a better idea of what your true odds are. I would say that when you're 90% or above on these different recommendation engines, as well as paired up with getting pre-approved on um, Citibank's website, the odds are very, very good that you're gonna get that card. Now, keep in mind that with the recommendation engines, as a lot of times there seems to be some sort of delay, meaning that I just got the card and got approved for it, and then I'm still getting the 88%, 98% odds on Credit Karma. So there's like a delay there that they haven't recognized that you got the card already, something like that, right? And then obviously you can come on over to walletmonkey.io slash master credit card lender list and get all the juicy details on Citibank as well. All right, so, Let's dive into it. Citibank will pull Experian, TransUnion, or Equifax, depending on the card. So here's some of the data that we are able to come up with. And if you've got any more, please comment below. So double cash and custom cash are known to pull um, Experian. The Citibank, uh, Costco, and Home Depot commercial revolving are known to hard pull Equifax. Uh, that's on the personal and I believe business side as well. Uh, Citibank Diamond Preferred is known to pull either Equifax or TransUnion. For example, they pulled TransUnion in Tennessee. Uh, with somebody recently. Citibank Diamond Preferred Business usually pulls uh, Experian. And then we've got City uh, A Advantage or the American Airlines Advantage card on the business side, hard pulled Equifax in New York. So I'm just trying to give you as much details and data that we've been able to accumulate. I'm sure that there's a lot more out there and, and we could really hone in on specifics in terms of geolocation. Hopefully that's enough to get you started. All right, a 672 is the lowest credit score that we saw accepted. And that was with the Best Buy co-brand city card. Across the boards with banks, usually it's a lot easier to get the co-branded card because there's a different sort of underwriting process that tend to go through. This is true with Amex. This is true for most uh, banks. So that is usually your way in if you've got lower credit sco score and you're like, um, you know, subprime or lower, right? Next, speaking of co-brands, you cannot product change out of a co-brand into a regular branded Citibank card. Next, six inquiries over a rolling six month period is what you can expect standard wise with them, right? Some will get through, you know, um, it's gonna vary by profile to profile. Yes, I understand that. But in general, six uh, inquiries over a six month rolling period. If you request a credit limit increase, it can be a hard pull or soft pull, depending on where you ask for it, whether it's in the app or on the online site, and as well as when you are just approved and some other variables like that. So it's gonna depend on really your profile and uh, when you're asking and where you're asking. I already mentioned that they're integrated in with the recommendation engines on sites like Credit Karma, I think Wallet Hub as well, and Experian so that you can uh, use that to uh, really see what your odds are gonna be with the pre-qualification. Citibank will credit limit increase and or cut your uh, limits based on soft pulls that they're regularly pulling. I've experienced both personally and seen both personally happening for myself and with family members. So uh, both ends of it. So when you're using the card and paying it down, using the card, paying it down, they tend to reward that usage with expanding out or um, increasing your credit limit. As well as when you know they see a 50, 100 point drop in your credit score, they're going to hit you with uh, reductions, okay? And this adverse action, don't be too surprised, especially right now with where we are economically, if you see more of that happening, right? We see Amex doing that a lot. We see Discover doing that to, do, to a degree. And a lot of these bigger banks are gonna start to do that to minimize their risk because they all have unrealized losses sitting on their books like we've been discussing. Citibank tends to reward usage just like Discover, just like um, Apple and other cards like that. So again, like I said, the more you use it, the more they're likely to give you an automatic credit limit increase. And on an automatic credit limit increase, 
they're not gonna hard pull your credit. Citibank does not have a limit in terms of how many consumer or business cards you can hold with them. I've seen mixed. I think the most I've seen is four across business and personal, but maybe if you've got more, comment below, let me know. Citibank offers two business cards as of right now. That is the Costco Anywhere Visa business credit card and the City Business A Advantage or American Airline Advantage Platinum Select MasterCard credit card as well. Mouthful, I know. You can go directly into business credit with Citibank. You don't have to work your way through personal, doing deposits, microtransactions, transactions, building transactional history. You don't need to do that. You can dive right into um, business credit with them. You can only apply for one Citibank uh, personal credit card every eight days. You can apply for no more than two Citibank personal cards every 65 days. And you can apply for one Citibank business card every 95 days. Next is the 24 month rule, which is actually really common uh, with banks. I feel like I'm reading this for almost every single bank that we've now covered. What it basically means is for the welcome bonuses, you're typically not eligible for the bonus on a particular card if you've closed that card or have received a new card member bonus on that card in the past 24 months. This usually applies to AUs as well, authorized users. Just make sure that you've given it uh, 24 months, it's off your report, and then try again to get that welcome bonus. That being said, some city cards, including the City Premier card, the City Prestige, City Rewards Plus, uh, have family card rules. In other words, for those three cards, you're not eligible for the welcome bonus on any of those cards if you've received a new card member bonus on any of them in the past 24 months. Next, you're not eligible for the welcome bonus on any of these cards if you've closed any of them in the past 24 months. Just keep that in mind. And lastly, we've got the 48 month uh, eight advantage rule. So some American Airline Advantage credit cards have a different version of the above family card rules uh, that we just mentioned. For example, the City A Advantage Exclusive World Elite MasterCard. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Next, I wanna leave you with a couple recent data points uh, that we've gotten from people in the community so that you can get uh, you know more intel. So first one is Diamond Preferred was approved for 12,500. We've actually got a dedicated video on that on the channel. They pulled TransUnion. The TransUnion at the time was 645 and they had 113,000 stated income. Next, applied for City Diamond Preferred was approved for 6,500. They pulled Equifax. I waited for 15 days to apply for the Best Buy credit card. They pulled Experian and I was denied. I had a credit score of 740 uh, with Equifax and Experian was 704 for average age of accounts. It was one year, nine months. They live in Pennsylvania. PA, PA is Pennsylvania, right? All right, there you have it. The complete list of uh, Citibank things that you need to know, 16 or so, uh, before you go ahead and apply. If we missed anything, comment below. That's it for the video, thanks for watching. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet, right there. Okay, bye.